Come on, move, 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 move. I'm going to do a proper introduction. There we go. The following is a special presentation of Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and future. Why, hi there, I'm Ron Juckett, and welcome to yet another experiment on a Saturday. Saturday seems to be a wasteland on my channel, and that needs to change. And so, some, a lot of you have actually been requesting college basketball, and I'm really not sure what the best way to do it is. Uh, do we want to do regular seasons and go through? Do we want, you know, what do we want to do? So today we're going to try something. We're going to, I found a couple homebrews on sportsreplays.net. Uh, the one we're going to feature today is broken down by decade. We meet some strange rules to it, and I'll get to that in a minute. But I think this is a long-term project. I'm thinking maybe a year or two here, because I like what I'm doing. And I'll get to the chat in a second. Um, but we're going to break these down by decade. So we're going to basically be running five different leagues, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and today, or up to, I think, till 2015. This is uh, Zep. 317s and someone else's creation. It's their schedule, and it's going to be UCLA and Michigan from Chrysler Arena, set in the 1960s. And so, oh, in one second, I'll bring up the rules that I just created. And so here are the rules. I had, it's difficult because you get the shot clock in there in the three-pointer in 87. So you ha instead of break, breaking these things out, I mean, they actually made, went through and made the schedule. And if you've ever done a schedule in any action PC sport, it is a genuine pain in the tushy. So I left it as is. Uh, so here are the rules. Obviously, it's 20-minute halves, 5-minute overtimes. There's a shot clock and there's a 3-point shot because the latter half would play with one. But it's a 45-second shot clock and a 3-point shot. Uh, zone, of course, is legal. And, but there's no alternate possession. Jump it for Jiminy Cricket's sake. 7 fouls gets you a 1-1. One one. 10 shots gives you, puts you in the penalty. And offensive fouls count as a as a team foul, and you get three to make two on a missed shot. Do I want to do? No, that's kind of getting into NBA stuff. So one on one though after the penalty, five fouls, two techs. It's a one shot tech, and so that's it. So I'm going to bring the logo back up, and then after that, I'm going to put the chat where I can see it. And then it's going to be UCLA and Michigan from the 60s. So the 60s conference has Houston, Texas, El Paso, West Virginia, Villanova, Michigan, Loyola of Chicago, Bradley, the Bonnie 6970, I believe. Actually, no, I believe this is just best best franchises. Davidson, North Carolina, Ohio State, UCLA, Kentucky, Cincinnati, and Duke. And we'll tip it for you in a moment. UCLA is favored by 36. <laughs> oh, boy. Um...
I want ratings. I want defensive positioning. We have sadly we have no photos. And for this we have no logos. Um, court plays right. Team color no. Starting lineups. So it's Southern California, and, I mean Southern California. It's the Bruins and the Wolverines from Chrysler Stadium, opening day of the season. Yeah, that's what I want. And we'll get to the starting. I'm going to coach both offenses, and the computer coaches both defenses. I will make subs. And we'll go through the starting lineups. Everyone's happy? All right. So the starting lineups for UCLA, Gail Goodrich at guard. The other guard, Walt Hazard. Jack Hirsch is one forward. Mike Lynn is, oh, that went way too fast. <laughs> anyway, I'll send her controls the tap, and we will try to do that again here. Um, All right, it's Gail Goodrich, Walt Hazard, Hirsch, Lynn, and Lou Alcender are your starting five for UCLA. Cantrell, Pitts, Cassie Russell, Rudy Tomjanovich, and Bunton are your Michigan starting five. There, that went over really well. So Goodrich has it. We do have a shot clock. They want UCLA wins the tip, for, and the first pass is going to be into Lynn. Lynn inside, and Tomjanovich steals. They're going to be a fast break for the Wolverines. Cantrell, Tomjanovich, and Bunton are on the break with Hazard and Hirsch back. Cantrell to TJ, and it's off the front of the rim. Lays it up, no good. Bunton tips it, no good. Alcinder with the rebound. Over to Hirsch from Goodrich. Dribbles it in to Hazard. Well, Hazard over to Goodrich. Goodrich over to Hirsch outside. Hirsch drives. He runs over Cassie Russell. No foul. Lays it up and in. And that's how this one starts. 2 0 UCLA. First minute of the game. We're going to go into Tom Janovich. Ten Cantrell brings it up for the Wolverines. Gets it to Tom Janovich and he commits the foul. And so it'll be UCLA ball. So no changes for anybody. So Gail, uh, as I told you, let me see if we can what we can do here for the Michigan starters. Bob Cantrell, who played in 63-64, is a starting point guard for the Wolverines. Jim Pitts, who played in the late 60s, is the point is the uh, shooting guard. Kazzy Russell, who played in the mid-60s and also had a good NBA career with Michigan. I mean, the Knicks is the small forward. Rudy Tomjanovich, you know who he is. Played in Michigan in the late 60s. Good, of course, NBA career and NBA head coach. And Bill Bunton played in the early 60s with the Wolverines. He's your center and a good one. So UCLA basketball, it'll be Alcinder inside. Into Kareem is the call. Goodrich dumps it into Alcinder. He bobbles it, and he recovers. And, but Tom Janovich puts it away, and it's a five on four. Michigan running that break early. Cantrell to Pitts. Lays it up and in. Two to the score. Opening minute. 1845 first half. 2 2 UCLA and Michigan. And they'll pass it around. They want a better setup. Alcinder outside is going to drive it. That's the call. 
And there's a whistle. And nope, there's a wet spot on the floor. And now we're ready to continue. And so, no play, and there'll be no changes. First minute and a half of the game, 2 2. Hirsch inbounds it for the Bruins. And he's going to try to find Walt Hazard outside. Hazard from the wing. Drives, he runs into pits, and Hazard gets called for the offensive foul. So one foul aside between UCLA and Michigan, and the Wolverines will inbound it in the backcourt. They're going right or left to right, and they're going to go inside to Bunton. I'm going to try not to shoot threes from for these 60 teams, but sometimes you just can't help it. Pitts. Into Bunton inside, shoots the short jumper. No rebound is controlled by somebody. Oh, he's fouled by Gail Goodrich. So that's two on UCLA, and Bunton will shoot two. Two, two. Just to start of things here. Bunton, a 78.6% free throw shooter. Goodrich with one foul. The Bruins have two as a team. Bunton. Tips his knee, shoots the first, and it's good. So Michigan, who is a 36-point underdog, leads it 3-2. to two. Everyone quiet for the second one, and he hits both of them. Oh, so 4-2 Michigan. Goodrich wants to find Alcindor in low. He probes over to Hazard. Hazard shoots the jumper. The improvise, and it's no good. Can't hit it, but Pitts will foul him, and that's the second foul on Michigan. So Walt Hazard will try the second. We'll try two free throws. He's a 71% free throw shooter. And his first is good. Four to three, Michigan. No changes for anybody. Hazard dips the knees and hits the second. 4-4, just the start of things here. 17.50 to go. Michigan will move it from left to right. We're going to go Bunton inside again. That's the call. Cantrell dumps it into Bunton. And he's defended by Alcindor. The jumper is good. 6-4 Michigan. 17.33 first half. UCLA doesn't like what they see. They'll pass it around. Now Alcindor inside will try to shoot it. He spins it around. It's good off to Hirsch and Tom Janovitz with his third steal. Going to find Cassie Russell. That's the call. Cantrell to Russell in the corner from 15. No, that's off the rim. Rebound is controlled by Hirsch of UCLA. And now the Bruins will run the fast break. Outlet over to Hurst. He's going to keep it all the way. Lays it up and in. 6-4 Bruins. 16-50 first half. 6-6 six, six to score. And Michigan will slow it down. Tom Jonovich with the ball inside. Going to try and shoot it. In the low post. He spins around. He shoots. And it's off the rim. No good. Rebound is grabbed by Button. He's going to try to tip it back up himself. Kisses it off the glass. No. Rebound in and out. Who's got it? It's knocked around. And Russell, Cassie Russell has it. And they'll set it back up outside. Russell. Over to Pitts. Pitts will drive it for Michigan. He's outside. He spins around. The whistle blows. And he gets called for the charge. And that's a second foul. So three on the Wolverines, one on Michigan. I mean, one on UCLA. And John Tidwell will come in to play the small guard. Tidwell, figuring his years from 60-61. Good shooter, good free throw shooter too. So... Let's see. Inside to Alcindor is the call. Goodrich did. Alcindor, Bunton guarding. Alcindor towers over him, fires, misses. And the rebound is 
Bump by Bunton. So Alcindor will get two with 15.57 to go in the first half. 6-6 six, six the score. So the first to two by Jabbar. And he's a 65% shooter and hits the first. So UCLA is three for three from the line. 7-6. Second one is up. Second one is good. So it's 8-6 to six UCLA. 15-57 to go. First half. And that's a timeout. So Michigan gets charged with a timeout. No other changes on the floor. 8-6 UCLA. So Tom Jonovich inbounds it for the Wolverines. They're going to work Cassie Russell outside. Cantrell on the wing. Over to Tom Janovich. He gets it back. He lost it. Looks inside from the pass. Tip by Lynn. Steal by UCLA. Bunton with the rebound. The Michigan gets it back. He's going to try to tip it up. Bunton with the outside and the Cantrell. And Goodrich ties him up. It's a jump ball. No possession arrow here. 15-37 first half. Cantrell and Goodrich to jump it here on the Michigan side of the court. And it is no changes. Jump is won by Goodrich for UCLA. And he's going to try to feed Al Cinder inside. Goodrich over to the big man and he slams it home. 10 6. No, he missed it. Bunton with the rebound. 8 6. Pardon me. Russell's going to try to shoot one of these fancy odd threes. Hirsch defends him. The three is up. The three is no good. Rebound off the rim. Tom Janovich over to Bunton. Gonna shoot inside. That's his fourth rebound. He pumps he pump fakes and he misses it himself. Rebound controlled by Oh, Hirsch gets the foul. So a foul by the small forward Hirsch, and Bunton will shoot two. He has four of the six Michigan points. So the to the line for two. 78% free throw shooter. And the first one's good. 8-7 UCLA. Five minutes in, first half. Second one is up. And that one will clang off the iron. Hirsch with the rebound for the Bruins. And Goodrich is going to call his own number. They're going right to left. Hirsch. Back to Goodrich. Outside. Picks and rolls. And Goodrich is called for the offensive foul. Cantrell blocked his path, and Cantrell just kind of flopped. And so Goodrich gives him a dirty look, but he's the one called for a foul. So John v Valeli comes in because Goodrich has two personal fouls. Valele played in the late 60s on some of those teams and averaged 11 points a game. So 8-7 UCLA, 14-38 left first half. Call is for Tidwell outside. Cantrell outside to Tidwell. Takes the jumper. Good. Hits the jumper. 9-8 Michigan. Walt Hazard outside. Valele. And takes it across over to Hazard. Hazard with an 18-footer. Yes, they exchange jumpers. And it's 10-9 UCLA. Michigan's going to work it inside to Bunton. Bunton from 10 feet. He hits it. That's his seventh point of the game. 13-46, 11-10 Michigan. This time it's Al Sender's turn to take one inside. He takes a good pass. He posts up. He tries to spin around. He shoots, and it's good. So he's got it. And now we're getting into a flow. 13-33, 12-11 UCLA. Outside for Cassie Russell is the call. Cantrell finds Russell. Russell to Tidwell. Over to Bunton outside. Back to Cantrell. He steps back over to Tidwell. Michigan passing it around. Now Russell on the perimeter. He drives. Hirsch falls to the floor. Russell lays it up. And it is no good. Won't go down. 
Al Cinder with the rebound, and here come the Bruins on a fast break. Four on three. Hirsch to Hazard lays it up and in. Six for Hazard, 14 11 UCLA. How you doing, Phantomatic? The call is Cassie Russell outside. Russell drives to the basket. He lays it off the glass, gets around his defenders, and misses. He misses. He's pushed to the floor, but Lynn commits the foul, and that's five on UCLA. 12-43 first half. Michigan shooting two. 14-11 UCLA. No changes for anybody. Russell will shoot two. Bends the knees, gets the ball, and the first clangs out the front of the rim. Bruins 5 for 6 from the floor. The Wolverines 4 for 12. We do have three-pointers. I'm not going to make an effort to use a lot of them. So no changes on either bench. Russell. Again, shoots in this one he gets in. So 14-12 UCLA. Valeli will bring it up. And the play is Hazard outside. Hazard. Pick and roll with Alcindor, but he's fouled by Tidwell, and that's five on Michigan. First on Tidwell, and UCLA will inbound from the side with 12.26 to go in the first half. Again, no changes. Hirsch inbounds it, and they're going to try for Lynn inside from Hazard. Short little rainbow is good, so he's on the board in the 16-12 UCLA. Donjanovich inside. Kentrell gives it up to Rudy. Good pass. It's a jump ball. Valeli and Tomjanovich both got hands on it. Valeli thought he had it, tried to call time, but the official said no, and it's called a jump ball. So Tomjanovich and Valeli will jump this thing. Remember, we're not doing any alternative possessions here. You can jump it. No changes either way. And. The jump ball is taken by Tomjanovich for Michigan, and that was expected. Bunton has it, and Bunton tries to slam it home Does he, or, from, or from 10 feet. It's off the rim. Rebound is taken down by Hirsch. That's his third. UCLA has numbers. Valeli and Lynn. Valeli takes it all the way, and he misses the layup. But he's fouled by Cassie Russell. And Michigan and UCLA will shoot two. So Vallely, 75% free throw shooter. Has the first one here. It is up and it is off the rim. No good. So that's the first free throw miss for the Bruins. If you like what you're seeing, let me know in the chat or the comments. We have 15 teams from each of the last five or six decades. And would love to do some sort of long-term college basketball project. And so we'll start with UCLA and Michigan. Uh, no changes for Michigan. And no changes yet for UCLA. For Lely. Misses the first one and misses the second one. Rebound controlled by Cassie Russell. Michigan will walk it up. Play is Tomjanovich inside. He gets the pass from Crantrell. Lynn is fouled, and Tom Janovich gets called with the offensive foul, and that puts UCLA in the bonus. So it's a one and one for Lynn, and Tom Janovich has two, and so he's going to have to come out. Oliver Darden will come in. Darden played for Michigan in the mid 60s. And was a very good shooter from the field, 48%. Lots of good rebounds. And so the first of two here from, well, it's a one and one. UCLA four or six from the line. Lynn hits the first, and it's 17 to 12. No changes for the Bruins. Lynn hits the second. So 18 to 12 on that 
I might have to tweak the foul things here. I don't think offensive fouls should that count for team fouls. I know they don't in the NBA. Anyway, media timeout on the floor. 11-24 first half, UCLA 18, Michigan 12. This is College Basketball Saturday on Retro Sports Network. So Michigan will inbound from the will inbound from the side. Darden will inbound it for the Wolverines. Oops. And Cassie Russell wants to shoot one of those new newfangled threes, but Dar Darden is hurt. Samjanovic is back in the game, and he's got two fouls. I don't want Samjanovic back in the game. Tom Cole. Will come in and Cole played in the early, early 60s. Not a good shooter at all, but a good rebounder. So Cole will inbound it and the call will go to himself. How about that? Pick and roll from Cantrell. Cole with a short shot and it's good. So it's 18 to 14, UCLA. 11 12 to go. Lynn from outside is the call from Valeli. Finds Lynn on the wing, floats one of the basket, lays it up, and no, no. Al Cinder gets called for offensive goaltending, and they have it go the other way. So 10.51 to go. 18.14 UCLA. No changes for either team. Although some bench time is coming up in a moment for some of these players. UCLA is in the bonus already. Russell. Russell's going to drive. Cassie Russell from behind the three-point line drives in, and Al Cinder reaches in for the non-shooting foul. And that's Lou's first, and the sixth on UCLA. So Michigan is in the bonus with the next foul. No changes. So Cole will inbound it. And he's going to go inside to Bunton. Bunton unloads in front of Al Cinder, and Hirsch gets a hand in there and blocks it. The rebound is controlled by, was well, a loose ball foul. And so Russell is over the top. That's the eighth foul on Michigan, and that's the second on Kazi. And so he'll come out. Dennis Stewart will replace Kazi Russell. Dennis played in the late 60s, a good shooter, 47% from the field, and a good free throw shooter. Alcindor, a 65% shot from the line. 1-1 one one here for the Bruins. First one is up, first one is in. Oh, Lynn tipped it in, duh. I gotta speed this up a little bit. So Alcindor missed the free throw, and then Lynn, because it's a live ball, tips it up and in. He's the leading, along with Hazard, he has six for the Bruins. 2014, 10 first half. Tidwell says, I want to try one of these three. He peeks around the screen from Cole. He fires it from three. That's no good. And Hazard with a good defense. Valeli with a good, strong rebound for the Bruins. And he's going to shoot it from outside. Man defense, Vallely. Back over to Al Cinder. Give and go to Vallely. He'll dish it to Hazard. Works around a screen from the jumper is no good. Rebound. It, oh, he's fouled by Stewart. So three to make two as UCLA is fully in the bonus. That's the ninth team foul on Michigan. And we'll have some changes here in a second. So the first free throw from Vallely is no good. The second from the backup point guard is good. So now we'll get some changes. So it's 21-14 UCLA. Craig Dill comes in for, at center. And John Thompson, not that one, as the point guard. For Michigan, UCLA. John Green is in for Walt Hazard. Edgar Lacey comes in for Hirsch. And Keith Erickson, you know that name, is in for Lynn.
for Laley's second free throw. Well, he missed two of the three. The rebound is corralled by Cole. I'll bring it into Stewart. 21-14. 9-56 first half. UCLA by seven. Thompson over to Tidwell. Finds Stewart. Stewart is stolen by Vallely. And it's not over to Alcinder. Alcinder tries to break the defense. He gets the pass from Green from 10. All net. 23-14 UCLA. Michigan doesn't like what they see. They run some clock. Tidwell outside. And Vallely jumps him up for the jump ball. And when 9 on 9 we get a stoppage in play. Fred Slaughter comes in for Alcinder. Don Green played at UCLA before they were really good in the, in the early 60s, if you're wondering who he is. Edgar Lacey was on that first run of championship teams off the bench for UCLA. Keith Erickson had a very good NBA career, but he was on that first UCLA championship team in 64-65. And Fred Slaughter, again, played before the big, big era of UCLA basketball, averaging seven a game, but he's going to be good off the bench. He shoots well and gets a lot of rebounds. He's going to average about 10 a game if he played all of his minutes. So Tidwell and Valeli to jump it. Tidwell controls for the Wolverines. They trail by nine. Stewart will shoot from outside. The jumper, oh, still be green. Over to Vallely, he'll shoot from the outside. Open jumper, no, rebound. Slaughter, he'll pass it back out. UCLA will set it up again. Erickson's open inside. Gets the pass, backs in on Cole. He drives to the hole, puts it up. No. Rebound. Lacey. Pass it back out. UCLA will set up the clock again. We are playing with the shot clock at 45 seconds because the rules are universal for all five decades and the three-pointer, but no one has made one yet. Lacey. Inside is the call from Vallely. He looks for Lacey. Stewart tips it away, but right to Lacey. Post up against Stewart. The jumper is no good. Stewart with a rebound. Michigan has numbers. Cole to Tidwell lays it up. No. Off the rim, Vallely has it, and UCLA will set it up. It is Erickson inside or outside, and he'll shoot. 736 first half. Erickson from the corner with the jumper. No, that's off the board. Erickson wants a foul call. He's not going to get it. Dill will walk it up. Michigan takes his time to set up. Tidwell will drive it. 7.16 to go. He comes in from the wing. Erickson cuts him off. Erickson's good defense. Tidwell's shot is no good. It was great defense by Erickson. And Green will get it for UCLA. And they will give him a shot outside. Green on the perimeter with the jumper. No. That's off the boards. And Stewart has it. And Michigan will set it up. 6.46 to go, first half. 23-14, UCLA. Dill will try to drive in from center on the baseline. And he's called for an offensive foul. So Slaughter will shoot the one and one. Slaughter the center. All of UCLA starters are ready to go. In fact, everybody's ready to go. But we'll do that at the next TV timeout. Over the next dead ball, it's not a free throw. Slaughter down a good free throw shooter. Hits the first, however, and it's 24-14. Michigan will bring in their starters. Pitts, Russell, and Tom Janovich already have two fouls. 
so they have to be careful. A third will find them sent back to the bench. Slaughters. Second one is up. Second one is good. 25-14 UCLA. 6.27 first half. And the timeout is charged to Michigan. And UCLA brings in its starters. Goodrich is in foul trouble, but that's about it. Everyone else will get one. So the starters are in 627 first half. Tom Janovich inbounds it. Play call is going to be for him. Well, he's hurt, but he says he's fine. Cassie Russell wants the shot. Michigan hasn't scored in nearly five minutes. Outside pass from Russell. From Pitts to Russell on the baseline, and he travels with it. So UCLA will inbound it from the backcourt. They're going right to left. Lynn inside. Bruins by 11. Pass to Lynn from Goodrich. Tom Janovich guards. Lynn jumps it over him, and it's good. 27-14 UCLA. Michigan doesn't like what they see, so they'll pass. Pitts. He'll drive. Outside. He drives inside. He lays it up. And in. So Michigan gets their first field goal in about five minutes. Cantrell gets his fourth dish. 27-16. Call is for Alcinder inside. Goodrich dumps it into Lou from Hazard over to Goodrich. Goodrich pick and roll with Alcinder. Alcinder is tipped out of bounds, but it was a Michigan hand, so it's UCLA ball with 21 on the shot clock. 27 16, 5 21 to go. First half. So Lynn, the ball is inbounded to Lynn. Michael in, and he's going to shoot it. Tom Janovich on the defense. Lynn gets past him, lays it up, and no. Not there. He missed it. He gets his own rebound. He'll try to tip it in, and he's fouled by Cassie Russell, and that's three for Cassie, and he's going to come out. But not before Lynn goes to the line for two, and that puts Michigan well in the double bonus. Lynn is 69% free throw shooter. First one is up. First one is good. 28-16 UCLA. So Dennis Stewart in for Cassie Russell, who's done for the first half. With three fouls. And Lynn will try here for his 10th point. It's the second one. 5-13 to go first half. 29-16 UCLA. They were really, really good. Inside of Tom Janovich is the call. Cantrell walks it up the court into the low post for Tom Janovich. He shoots it. He finally gets on the board. 29-18, 4.56 first half. Goodrich says, I want some points. So he's going to shoot this one from outside, from Hirsch to Goodrich with the jumper. He's going to drive it, drives it to the hoop, back out to Hirsch who shoots the jumper. No good. Goodrich not being selfish. Rebound Tom Janovich. Michigan on the break. Cantrell, Pritz, and Tom Janovich on the break against Hirsch and Hazard. Over to TJ. Tom Janovich from Cantrell lays it up. And no good. Rebound Hazard. UCLA transition the other way. Goodrich to Alcinder. And he slams it home for his eighth point of the night. 31 18 UCLA. They're going to dominate the 60s division. Michigan sets up the play. Stewart will shoot from outside. Free throw extended left. Sets up with a jumper. No rebound. Goes to Alcinder. UCLA in transition. Three on two. Hirsch lays it up and in. 33-18. And Cantrell gets called for the foul. So it's a three-point play. Potentially. That's Cantrell's first. Hirsch is 66.4% free throw shooter. 12th team foul on the Wolverines, and Hirsch completes the old-fashioned three. He's got seven, 34-18 UCLA. Latter stages of the first half. 
Michigan passes it around. They don't like the initial setup. Stewart will try to find Bunton inside. That's the call. Bunton in the lane. Off the iron and no good. Al Sinder with the foul. So, so that's going to be three to make two, I believe, because UCLA is now, that was the seventh team foul. So Bunton, who has seven for the Wolverines, their leading scorer, along with four rebounds. First of two. Hits the first. 34-19. Four minutes to go in the first half. Second one coming. No changes. That one is off the glass, and Al Cinder will get the rebound. No hurry here, but UCLA is going to try a shot anyway. Hirsch to Goodrich. Cantrell with the steal. Michigan has numbers. Pitt Stewart and Tom Janovich. To Stewart from Tom Janovich and lays it up and in. That's a good play. 34-21. So Michigan making a run here. Under four to go. First half. Goodrich will shoot from outside. That's the call anyway on the perimeter. He drives. Knocked out of bounds. Last touch by UCLA. Under four timeout here in Michigan. 34-21, UCLA leads. And the cat just threw up. You all right, Emmy? All right, I'm going to do something real quick here to see if I can speed up some of the play-by-play. -play. Hold on. I lost my mouse. As my cat has a hairball. All right, I want to. That's right. All right, let's see if that makes a little bit of a difference here in the speed of this game. So Cantrell will inbound it from the side. 329, both teams into bonus. 34-21 UCLA. Stewart will inbound it for Michigan. We're going to look for Tom Janovich inside. Tom Janovich has two. Cantrell picks and rolls to Tom Janovich off the glass. No, rebound hazard. Goodrich wants something outside. Al Cinder is hurt and he's leaving the game. So Slaughter comes back in. That's a little too fast. Let's try that. So Slaughter is back in for Alcindor. Leaves with eight points, four rebounds, and two fouls. 34-21. UCLA. Hurst to inbound. And no changes for Michigan. Hirsch inbounds. We're going to go inside for... We're going to go Hazard outside. Bruins by 13. Hazard drives to the basket. Short jumper. No. Tom Janovich with the rebound. Three on three. Michigan pushes it up the court. Tom Janovich to Stewart from Pitts, and that's good. So Stewart hit the finger roll. A bang, bang, pass play. And it's now a 9-11 point game. 34-23. UCLA doesn't like what they see. Now Hazard. Hazard will drive. 2.40 to go in the half. Hazard to the basket. Over to Slaughter. That's a bad pass. That's a turnover. Seventh turnover for the Bruins, and it's Michigan ball. 2.34 to go in the half. No changes. Stewart outside for Michigan is the call. From the baseline, guarded. He jumps over. Hershey makes the basket. 34.25. 
Michigan hitting 38% from the field, 10 for 26. The Bruins 11 for 21, but that's 52%. Goodrich is going to try the rare three from beyond the arc, and it's no good. Rebound Stewart. Pitts and Stewart. Transition for the Wolverines. To Cantrell, to Stewart, over to Pitts. Hirsch commits the foul, and it's a one and one a minute 56 to go first half. 34-25, Michigan is hanging in there. No changes. Cassie Russell sits on the bench for Michigan with one point and three fouls. Pitts, the shooting guard, a 59% free throw shooter. How you doing, Al? Good to have you with us. Pitts, first one is up. It's good. So five for Pitts, 34-26 UCLA. Second one is up, and good. So we hit them both, 34-27. Michigan has whittled this 13-point lead down to seven. And so it's going to be Lynn inside. Goodrich has not had any luck shooting. So the play is for Lynn inside. Goodrich to Hazard, over to Hirsch. Jumper no, rebound Lynn. Lynn will try to tip this back up, and it's good. 12 points for Lynn. He's the leading scorer for UCLA. 36-27, a minute 40 to go. Tom Janovich inside is the play. Cantrell finds Tom Janovich. Hits the jumper, 36-29. Michigan has kept this close. Goodrich will try this one from outside, from Hazard. Goodrich drives, and that's finally good. Hazard got him, and Goodrich finally found a way to get into the basket. And make it 38-29, UCLA. A minute 15, first half. Pitts wants to jump her outside. Cantrell to Pitts from outside. Yes, right side, good. 38-31, a minute to go. UCLA sees Lynn. That's the call. Goodrich, screen and roll with Lynn. Unloads, bunting with the block. Tom Janovich stangs his third rebound. 42 seconds to go. On transition, Pitts and Bunton. Cantrell to Pitts over to Bunton, and it goes out of bounds. It goes out of bounds. So it's UCLA basketball. Clock shot is off. 38 seconds to go in the half. In this battle of 1960s basketball. No changes. Alcindor is on the bench with eight points, four rebounds, and a bum thumb. Other than that, it's starters for UCLA. Cassie Russell is the lone starter sitting on the bench for Michigan because he had three fouls in the first half. He'll be in in a minute. And John Wooden says, give it to Lenny's the hot hand. So that's what Gail Goodrich should do. But Gail Goodrich... Hurts his arm, but he'll stay in the game. And instead, Goodrich will get this designated shot. Slaughter to Goodrich. Jumper, no. Rebound, Stewart. That's his fourth. That's all off the bench. 16 seconds left. Tom Janovich wants it inside. Cantrell, pick and roll to Tom Janovich. Lays it up. No, Lynn gets a block. His second. That's his fifth rebound. And there won't be enough time to set this up. They're going to try a half-court shot from Hazard. No. So after one half, UCLA 38, Michigan 31. And now Sender's back, so it's starting five for everybody. <sighs> All right, Al, since you missed the intro... I downloaded a couple of homebrews. Someone wanted a college bat. Someone wanted college basketball, and I thought that was a great idea. I'm not remember who that was in the comment. So we're trying this. Uh, you're seeing here. There's there's the French great fr college basketball quote unquote franchises, kind of like all star teams, and they're broken down into decades: 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and the 21st century. So that could be a long-term project. There are 15 squads per side. And 
they'll play under unif they could do them under unified rules, but playing for their own first place or whatever. And so that's why you're seeing UCLA and Michigan. Also, I downloaded the 64 best all-star teams in college basketball history. We could do that, and I could rearrange them and try to create a schedule. There's a schedule already created, but it's not done by geography. Uh, but that goes for for all time or for whenever they can find the numbers. So we're going to try this. Our next game won't be today. It would be from the 70s and the 80s and then so on and so forth. So this would be a long-term project. But you know what? If we can find some close games here, I think it would be good. So that's what we got for you. It's UCLA and Michigan. Let's start the second half. The cat had a hairball. Now she went to the bathroom and looks like she's eating or drinking. So she looks okay. So UCLA shot 13 from 27 from the field in the first half for 48%. Michigan 12 of 19. Rebounds 19, 15 in favor of the Wolver or of the Bruins, and they had six offensive rebounds to Michigan's four. Turnovers 9, 7 for Michigan. Steals 4, 2 Michigan. UCLA had three blocks. And so it'll be, I believe, UCLA ball here to start the second half. They will inbound from the backcourt. They are going from right to left here michigan supposedly has home court ucla is a 36 point favorite so it'll be the big man al cinder inside goodrich hazard hirsch Lennon al cinder for ucla cantrell pitts russell tom jimon and bunton al cinder thinks no he walked they didn't call it skyhook no tip in from hirsch yes so that's nine from hirsch and so it was 40-31. Cantrell to Bunton down low. Jumper good. That was pretty quick. 40-33 UCLA. Hazard outside is the call. Goodrich. Hazard. Back over to Goodrich. Hazard on the perimeter. Jumper. Pitts makes contact. And it's a two-shot foul. First foul of the second half. Oh, I screwed up the timeouts. I get it. In it. I'll figure it out. So two shots for Hazard. He had six points, two rebounds, and two assists in the first half. 71.8% free throw shooter. First shot from Hazard is good. That gives him seven. Dips the knee. Second one coming. Good. Both good. 42-33. This is a best of uh, this was a best of a franchise for decade. So the 70s UCLA will have Walton and Wilkes. Um, I mean, there's just you get into some of these programs, you're just too good to limit in 12 to 15 all time. So I think you'll get a better brand of basketball, Al, uh, from from doing it individually by decade and not trying to play the Emeka Okafors against the Kareem Abdul Jabbar's. Um, but we'll see. You know, it depends on how many people end up watching. It took a long time to play the first half. Um, but I'm trying to shorten this a little bit. It's all an experiment. We'll see where we go from here. Michigan, 19-12, first half, or second half. Pitts from outside. Cantrell to Russell. Back over to Pitts. He drives, and it's no good. Goodrich with the rebound, but Cantrell gets called for the loose ball foul. So that's the second on Michigan here in the second half. And it'll be UCLA basketball. And it's going to go inside to Alcindor. Goodrich, pick and roll with Alcindor over to Lynn. That's not a good pass. Button with the steal. And Michigan will walk it up. 1841 to go. Cantrell. Going to shoot one from outside. Goodrich defending. Nowhere to go. He jumps. No. Alcindor with the rebound. That's five for the big man. UCLA over to Goodrich. Hazard. Hazard wants to shoot from outside. Shoots it. No. Rebound Bunton. Michigan. Comes back with it the other way. Cantrell across the timeline. 18.04 to go. They're going to try to work it to Bunton inside. 
Bunton against Lynn. Shoot scores. That's 12 for Bunton, and it's 42-35. Lynn inside is the call. Goodrich inside to Lynn. Rises over Tom Janovich, but Bunton gets the re block, and Russell gets the rebound. The lead is seven. Michigan walks it across. They're going to pass. They're going to knock some time off this clock. Tom Janovich has it. 25 on the 45. He's going to shoot it. And there's a wet spot on the floor. Now we're ready to continue. 18 on the clock. Still 42-35. 17-19 to go. First ha or second half. No changes. Tom Janovich inbounds. It's going to be... They don't like what they see. They're going to pass it around. Tom Janovich. Inside with nine on the shot clock. In the paint. Hazard steals it. Hazard and Alcindor back. Hazard's going to take it all the way. And it's stolen by Pitts. And Michigan will walk it up. Cantrell. 16.54 to go. Bunsen inside is the call. Bunsen drives. And he knocks over Kareem. So Alcindor finds the floor. It's the third on Michigan as a team. And it'll be UCLA ball, 16-47. No changes. Play is Goodrich outside. Goodrich, screen and roll with Alcindor. He rolls it over Cantrell, but Cantrell with a foul. So two foul shots for Goodrich. UCLA has been held off the board the last 247. So Cantrell, Pitts, and Russell have three fouls for Michigan. And no one on UCLA has three. Goodrich is 71% free throw shooter. Has two points tonight. First shot is up. Good. That gives him three. 43-35. Goodrich, the second shot is good. So it hits, hits them both, 44-35. Michigan will figure this one out. The play is Cassie Russell outside. Cantrell to Russell. Drives. Alcindor with a defense off the glass and in. Went around Alcindor and made contact, 44-37. Hazard outside is the call. On the wing, he lays it up and in. So, good setup from Goodrich, and Hazard knows how to play one-on-one, -on -one, and he's in the double digits. He has 10. 46-37, UCLA. Russell outside is the call. Wolverines down by nine. Cantrell to Russell over Hirsch. Yes. Good, solid jumper. Hirsch peaked too early, and Russell just waited for it. 46-39, UCLA. They're going to work it inside to Alcindor. That's the call. Oh, Bunton, over Bunton, skyhook, yeah. Goodrich just threw the baseball strike to Alcindor. He waited for Bunton to do his thing and then got him with a skyhook. And he has 10 for the Bruins, 48-39. Tom Janovich inside is the call. Cantrell outside, drives it. Goodrich blocks it. No call. Cantrell lays it up and in. Goodrich trying to draw the charge. The refs were having nothing to do with that. And Cantrell scored his first basket of the game anyway. It's a seven-point game, 48-41. They're going to go to Lynn, the power forward inside. Goodrich to Hazard. Back to Lynn. Over Tom Janovich, and that's good. 14 for Lynn. 50-41. They're going to go Tom Janovich inside again. Russell's lobbying for the three, but no one's hit one yet. Cantrell, screen and roll to TJ. And he slams it home over Lynn, 50-43. Michigan is hanging with the Bruins. They're going to go inside to Alcindor. Good give and go, yep. Alcindor turned around, jumper, you betcha, 52-43. That's 12 for the big man. UCLA has three in double digits. Only Bunton is in double digits for the Wolverines. And it's going to be Bunton shot again if it goes right. Inside, point blank range. No. Rebound, Tom Janovich. No. Al Sinder with a scores a sixth rebound transition pass. 
Three on three for the Bruins. Hazard to Alcindor lays it up and good. 14 for Lou, and it's 54-43. 14.06 to go. Russell outside is the call. Cantrell to Russell in the corner. No, misses everything. Alcindor with the rebound, and UCLA will walk it up. 13.50 to go in the game. Goodrich. Doesn't really like what he sees, so they'll flip a card and pass. 29 now on the shot clock. Goodrich will drive it himself. Outside, goes to the hoop, punch and tries to block it, uh, but he commits the foul instead. Goodrich gets slapped in the head like a puppy. Good boy. No newspaper. And so Gail Goodrich will go to the line for two. UCLA 54-43. 13-19 to go in the basketball game, and now only Tom Janovich doesn't have three fouls as a starter for Michigan. Goodrich is 71% free throw shooter. First one is up, and it's good. So five for Gale now, 55-43. Second one from Goodrich. Around the rim and in, so he hits them both. UCLA is 18 for 23 from the line tonight. And they've, cannot, they've not committed a foul here in the second half. 13.29 to go. Timeout on the floor. It's UCLA 56, Michigan 43. And so Tom Janovich will inbound it from Michigan on their half of the court. And they're going to pass it around. They didn't like the setup there. Cantrell loses it out of bounds. That's the turnover. 12 for Michigan. And here comes UCLA. No changes. They're going to go outside to Hazard. 13-10 to go. Goodrich. Hazard in the perimeter. Jumper is good. Under 13 to go. 12-52. 58-43 UCLA. They're going to go pits outside. That's the call. Jumper from the corner. No. Cassie Russell gets the rebound and he'll pass it back out. You all right? That. It's not sure what she wants to do. Tom Janovich inside is the call. Cantrell to Tom Janovich inside. Shoots. No. Pits clean. Gets the rebound and passes it back out. Michigan now two and a half minutes since they've scored. Russell outside is the call. Tom Janovitz over to Russell in the corner. Drive, shoots, no, but Lynn will commit the foul. And Michigan with 12.01 to go. Goes back to the line. So the first of two for Kazzy is good. He's the 82% free throw shooter. 58-44. Michigan 8 for 11 in the game. Russell looking for a 7 point. Dips the knee, shoots, and it won't stay down. Rebound fought for, and Alcindor has it. That's 8 for Lou. UCLA will walk it up. Goodrich, under 12 to go. Has Alcindor open, but they're going to start to eat some clock. 11.43 to go. Lynn will shoot from inside. And it lays it up, and good. 60-44 UCLA. Gazzy Russell wants the three, but they're not going to give it to him. This time it's Bunsen inside. He's going to take the shot. Bunsen hopes to get fouled. Good luck, he's got it. Won't get the foul, but he will to get the basket. That's 14 for him, and Cantrell, the point guard, has nine assists. 11-21 to go. 60-46 UCLA. And again... They're going to pass it and run some clock. Goodrich will drive it himself. And Goodrich walked with it. So TV timeout, 11.04 to go in the basketball game. It's UCLA 60, Michigan 46. No changes either side. And so it'll be Cantrell. Well, they're going to inbound it. Michigan to my right here at center court.
Tom Janovich inbounds it. Cassie Russell outside is the call. Pitts over to Russell in the corner. Jumper is good. So that's Pitts' second assist. And it's 60-48. Michigan is trying to hang on. Lynn inside is the call for UCLA. Lynn is trying to call time and gets the timeout. Michigan pressed. The computer's running the defenses and forced the trap and the timeout. So UCLA only has one left. 10.27 to go. And we'll do some bench movement here. Thompson will come in for Cantrell. And for UCLA, Edgar Lacey comes in for Jack Hirsch, who's played 26 minutes. So 10-27, 60-48, UCLA, and Lacey will inbound it, knocked out of bounds, and then knocked it off of bounds off a of fellow Bruin. And so Michigan gets the ball. 11 turnovers for the Bruins tonight. They trail by 12. Thompson, the point guard, is in off the bench. And they're going to go Russell outside. That's the plan, anyway. Thompson to Russell on the baseline. Jumpers, no. Rebound, Lynn. Transition, four on four. Six rebounds from Mike Lynn. UCLA, Goodrich lays it up and in. It rolled around the rim and went in. 62-48, 10-11 to go. Again, they want Cassie Russell outside. Thompson to Russell. Jumper's good. He's got 10. 62-50. Under 10 minutes to go. UCLA will pass. Goodrich will drive it. Drives to the basket. Bunting cuts it off. Goodrich doesn't hit. Al Sender, though. Gets the rebound, the tip from Lou. Yes, 16 for Al Cinder. He's a rebound away from a double. Double. 9.39 to go. 64.50 UCLA. This time it's Tom Janovich inside. Hazard's on him. Tom Janovich it can't hit the shot. He gets his own rebound. And they'll pass it around. Again, Tom Janovich inside is the call. He shoots and he scores. 9.09 to go, 64-52, UCLA by 12. Alcindor inside. Goodrich over to Hazard. Goodrich, they're running some clock, pick and roll to Lou. Loose ball. Thompson can't get it, jump ball. So Thompson and Goodrich, 8.50 to go. Good, glad you're liking this. I'm having fun with it. Once I took off the chalkboard, it goes a lot better. The only reason why I haven't done a lot of basketball is it really is a true radio play-by-play. -play. And so if you like that, I have no trouble with it. So, 64-52, UCLA over Michigan, Goodrich and Thompson. So it's the point guards jumping it here, and we're going to get some subs for UCLA. So John Green is in for Walt Hazard. Keith Erickson comes in for Lynn, and Fred Slaughter comes in for Lou Alcindor. But Laley will come in for Goodrich next time that UCLA can change. Michigan, Tidwell in for Pitts, Stewart in for Russell, Oliver Darden in for Tom Janovich, and Craig Dill. Comes in for the tired Bunton. We'll see if the Michigan bench can do anything. Michigan bench has 10 points in the game to UCLA's three. Second chance, point, second chance points, all UCLA, 8 nothing. And you'd figure this would be, a, with the big boys, a big game in the paint, 30-26 in favor of UCLA. So jump ball coming. Thompson and Goodrich. Goodrich controls for the Bruins. Goodrich will drive it himself. John Green is hurt. He's leaving the game, and he should return. So Hazard, no, Hazard won't come back in. First look at Lucius Allen. Who was on those early championship teams. Wasn't he in um, Hill Street Blues, too? Good shooter. 47% from the floor. 
and just tells you just how good that UCLA team is, how deep they were. They're now shooting 56% from the floor, 23 of 41. Uh, so Lacey inbounds it for the Bruins, and they're going to go inside to Keith Erickson. 24 on the 45 clock. Goodrich shoots it himself, and it's in. That wasn't the call, but Goodrich said, uh-uh, I'm jumping it. And so that's 10 for Gale with six assists. 66-52, UCLA, 8-43. Inside the Dill is the call. Thompson to Tidwell in the corner. They pass it around. Dill inside. Short jumper, no. Gets his own rebound. Tips it back. Yeah, no, Slaughter got a piece of it. Erickson gets the rebound on UCLA with 827. We'll walk it up. UCLA walks it up. Goodrich. They'll run some clock. Slaughter. We'll shoot it. 810 to go. Slaughter inside. The Lacey outside. Jumper. Yes. So Slaughter plays the Wheel of Fortune play, and Lacey's on the board. 68-52. 803 to go. Stewart outside for Michigan. Thompson to Tidwell. Thompson. Stewart drives it. Lucius Allen with the steal. Three on one. Darden back there by himself. Allen lays it up. Allen lays it in. And Bruins are starting to pull away. 70-52. Darden inside for Michigan. Thompson dribbles it to Darden in the paint. Off of Erickson lays it up. Been good. Goodrich is told to pass by Wooden. Goodrich will now drive it himself from beyond the three-point line. He blows the layup, and Lacey gets it. He'll pass it back out. Fresh clock is a pass, but Tidwell's hurt. He's leaving the game. He should return for Michigan, and Maxey comes in for the first time. But... With 7 11, it's starters for Michigan. And Vallely is in for UCLA. 7 11 left. Lacey inbounds it. And they'll run some clock. Now Erickson will shoot from outside. From five feet. Spins it out. Bunting with the rebound. Michigan will walk it up. They need a miracle here. Pitts. John Green is ready. Doesn't matter. Michigan's five are on the floor. Russell. Wants that three. Cantrell. Beyond the arc to Russell. No. Out of bounds. UCLA ball. They're not capable of shooting a three. But I can't shut it off per conference. I really don't want to make five separate leagues. So it's UCLA ball. The starters are pretty much fresh for UCLA, but there's no reason. They're up 16. So no changes right now for UCLA. Erickson inside, 6.36 to go. Vallely, Lacey shoots the jumper, no. Rebound pits. Bunton inside is the call. He rocks to the basket. There's a whistle, and Bunton pushes off. That's his fourth. We got ourselves a TV timeout. 6.06 to go in the ballgame. 70-54 UCLA. And Bunton's going to stay in with a four. And UCLA brings back in their starters. Oh, starters are all in. Yeah. Okay, I thought so, Al. That just tells you just how deep this team is. 70-54. UCLA, 6.06 to go. In the second half, UCLA has outscored Michigan 32-23. And I would say our player of the game is going to be Mike Lynn. Six rebounds, four of them on offense. Four for four from the line and a 14.4 game score. Michigan has tried hard. I mean, it's not from a lack of effort. UCLA is just that good. Let's see what happens over the last six minutes. Hirsch inbounds it for UCLA. 
They're going to pass it. They're really in no hurry. Lynn will shoot from outside. I can't get sloppy with it. Baseline. Lynn over Tomjanovich. Too hard. Alcindor with the rebound. That's a double-double. He loses it out of bounds, however. He tried to shoot it and couldn't. So Wolverine's ball, 544. They inbound the basketball. Button inside is the call. Cantrell, pick and roll. Jumper from Bunton is good, and Cantrell has 10 assists. Cantrell has played a good game. Michigan's played a good game. They've just not been able to slow down UCLA. And again, they're going to pass. 5.18 to go. Lynn will shoot from outside. Baseline, jumper, no. Rebound, Cassie Russell. Michigan will walk it up. 5.05 to go. Bunton inside is the call. UCLA man-to-man -man button over Alcindor. You betcha, 70-58, under five to go. They pass. Goodrich will drive. And he lays it up. It's no good. Bat it around. Russell with the rebound. But first, my wife. Hello. Hi. At the I got that leftover stuff from the night before. Okay. All right. Love you too. Bye bye. There. Free phone call from the wife. Russell with the rebound. Michigan had a break. Three on three, Pitts, Russell, and Tom Janovich. Back with Hirsch and Hazard. Pitts to Russell, and Russell double dribbles. Cassie Russell double dribbles. This could have been a 10 point game. UCLA basketball. 4.39 to go. Wooden says, slow it down some more. And they do. Al Cinder will shoot underneath the basket. Inside, pump fake, jumper, no. Rebound, Hirsch, and he throws it back out. And UCLA resets the clock. 36 now, Alcindor outside. They'll pass it again, but this won't go well. Alcindor to Hirsch, and that's a terrible pass. And so UCLA got too cute with it. 4.05 to go. 70-58. <laughs> I didn't have the heart to tell her she was on the stream, but she's doing well, Al. So timeout, 4.05 left, 70-58 UCLA. As I said, UCLA was a 36-point favorite coming in. So Michigan has acquitted itself quite nicely. Uh, Tom Janovich inbounds it. They're going to pass it around. There's really there's open shots, but you need good shots right now. Pass. It's a Tom Janovich. He's going to try to shoot it inside. Lynn guards it. Blocked by Alcindor and rebounded by Alcindor. 11 for Kareem. And Tom Janovich has missed six straight down the stretch. UCLA on the break. Goodrich and Hazard back there. To Lynn. Jumper, no. But Cassie Russell commits the foul. And it's a two-shotter. And UCLA now will be in a one-on-one -on -one if it's a non-shooting foul. So a pair of free throws from Lynn. 70-58. Not quite over yet, but Don Meredith is sitting there with his lip and iced tea in his hand ready to sing it. Lynn hits the first. 17. He's a leading scorer for UCLA. 71-58. Mike Lynn from those championship teams from the 1960s. 48% shooter from the field and a 69% shooter from the line. Bends his knees, the second shot is up, and it's good. He's got 18, 72, 58. Michigan can't be too choosy. Again, Tom Janovich inside is the call. Pump fake, lays it up, finally breaks through. And Hirsch collapsed and fell on him. So it's a it's an old-fashioned three. 
Only the second team foul. U UCLA has played such good basketball. No changes. Tom Johnovich, a 60% free throw shooter. Hopes to hit this one. He does. So it's 72 61. Michigan still has hope. 327 left. And so Hazard will. Outside is the call. Hazard can't hit the jumper. Goodrich with the rebound passes it back out. 309 left. UCLA passing it around. 301 left. They're going to try one more pass. They get away with it. Goodrich. We'll drive with it. 2.50 to go on the clock. Russell steals it. That's his fourth. He knocked it away. They got too cute. Three on two for Michigan. Cantrell to Bunton lays it up and in. It's like salt and pepper. 11 assists for Cantrell and 20 for Bunton. He's the leading scorer for both teams. Nine point game. 2.40 to go. UCLA will pass it. Lynn. Inside will shoot. Jumper, yes, that's 20 for him. That's the seventh assist from Goodrich. 74 63, 222 to go. We're going to go bunting outside. Jumper, yes, he's got 22, 14 and a half, 74 65. Michigan trails by nine. Hirsch outside for UCLA. Hazard. To Goodrich and they lose it out of bounds. So no one's tired. Everyone is in that should be in. Michigan ball. They'll inbound it. And it's going to be Cassie Russell outside. Around the screen and hits the jumper. Button set up the screen and Cantrell just ripped one to Russell, who just climbed at home. It's a seven point game, a minute 40 left. UCLA and bounds from the backcourt. They get it in. Everyone's open. So it's Alcindor. Goodrich into Alcindor in the lane. Jumper. Yes, 18. And Tom Janovich fouls him. So it's a three point shot here for Alcindor. 76 67. One shot bonus for UCLA. 65% shooter from the floor. Has 18 tonight. And now has 19. He makes that. So it's 77-67. Right on the cusp of a blowout. Michigan will bring it across. A minute 17 left. Russell's open outside. Beggars can't be choosers. Tom Janovich to Russell on the baseline. Hits the jumper. He's got 14. 77-69. I can't believe that Michigan is not pressing. Where's my press here? Oh. So Michigan will go into a full court trap. Hazard and bounds to Goodrich. And they're gonna Goodrich is gonna shoot. A minute five left. And Trell grabs him, and Goodrich will go to the line for a one, a one and one. Four fouls. Michigan can't afford to foul too many times because they don't have the players. So fourth for Cantrell. And Goodrich is a 71% free throw shooter. First one is up, and it's good. So it's 78-69 UCLA. Second one from Goodrich. Bends the knees is up, and it's good. He hit them both. And so UCLA signers, four of them have scored 10 points. Michigan a minute two. Inside of Tom Janovich, 57 seconds left. Bunton to TJ inside. Jumper, no. Alcindor with the block. Hirsch with the rebound. Pass break for UCLA. Pitts will wrap him up. And Alcindor will shoot too. Because Michigan is, UCLA is now in the double bonus. 
So the first shot from Al Sender has 19 tonight. And he's got it. That's 20. And so this will be Michigan's game. 80-69. I mean, UCLA's game. 80-69. Second from Al Sender is good. So a good one there. They go to a no foul strategy. Cassie Russell, 43 seconds left. He'll try to shoot from outside. Drives to the basket, loses it out of bounds. UCLA ball. And that's it. The shot clock is done. So last shot. 30 seconds for Alcindor. Hazard. Alcindor inside. Jumper. No. But Tom Janovich gets called for a foul with four seconds left, and Kareem now has three to make two. So let me know what you thought of this. I kind of like this better than the Civ Five stuff, which I can or Civ Six stuff, which I can play any time. But a long, uh, ongoing college basketball project, the best of the best, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and today. I sound like your mother's station, uh, or your father's, you know, adult contemporary station. Um, and we'll try to do that. So while Cinder will try three to make two here, first shot for Lou is in. He's got 22. So UCLA will start the year at 1-0. and Michigan, as I said, they were 36-point underdogs at home to UCLA. Now Cinder's second shot is good. And that should do it. They're going to try to get in the Bunsen. But for not, Jumper is just in time. He hit it, but that's it. The final score, UCLA 83, Michigan 71. And our player of the game is going to be Lou Alcindor or Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He was 7 of 8 from the line, 8 from 11 from the field, 11 rebounds, 2 blocks. With Gil Goodrich getting 8 assists, he had a good game. And Bunton had a good game from Michigan. 24 points and all that. All right. So let me know what you think of that. Our 70s possibility. Here's what we would do. We would just play all these out. So not all these out, but. Our 70s option the next time we get together. We have UCLA and Kansas. That's Bill Walton's team. Notre Dame and Louisville. Denny Crum against Digger Phelps. Kentucky and Long Beach State. Don't ask me why Long Beach State's here. Carolina, Maryland is what I was thinking. Marquette and Michigan. Al McGuire. Carolina State and Syracuse and Indiana and South Carolina. So we'll do one of those games for you the next time. If you're interested in the other 60 teams, it's Duke and St. Bonaventure, the Bonnies, Cincinnati featuring Oscar Robertson against Bradley, Kentucky against Loyola of Chicago, who won back-to-back -back championships in the early 60s, Ohio State and Villanova, North Carolina, West Virginia, and Davidson versus Texas, El Paso. The 80s teams, Carolina and Louisville, DePaul and Oregon State. You can see a Raid Meyer get Get beat over and over and over again. Kentucky and Virginia. Virginia's got Ralph Sampson, by the way. Syracuse and St. John's. Oh, boy. Indiana and UNLV. Georgetown and Michigan. Oklahoma and Purdue. For the 90s, Kentucky and Utah. Kansas and Cincinnati. Duke and UNLV. Oh, yeah, we're doing that game. Connecticut, Purdue. Carolina, Indiana. Arizona and UCLA. And somehow Massachusetts got a team into here. Along with 40 minutes of hell of Arkansas. And for the modern era, Duke, Wisconsin, Kansas, Arizona, Florida, Connecticut, Carolina, Pittsburgh, Kentucky, Ohio State, Louisville, Texas, Michigan State, Syracuse. All right. So those are some of the options there. And so we'll have another game for you soon. But for now, I'm Ron Jacket for Retro Sports Network. Yep. No, this was not from Dave Koch. I'll talk to you tomorrow for Cards and Dice Sunday.